Hello and a warm welcome here from Stuttgart to the world premiere of the new Mercedes EQS, the first luxury sedan fully electric powered out of the brand of Mercedes. And first of all, we're going to have a closer look to the exterior of this beautifully shaped fully electric car. The front of the EQS is dominated by the large so-called black panel grille with a central star. Optionally, this can now be ordered with a three-dimensional star pattern to achieve a particularly exclusive look. The daytime running lights of the LED headlights consist out of three parts. On top, a light band is connecting the headlamps. Overall, the front look of the 1 m 92 wide EQS still looks, despite its clear membership of the EQ family, a lot like a Mercedes S-Class. But that changes when you look at it from the side. The relatively short, low-cut bonnet is immediately noticeable here. The so-called one-bow design, together with a passenger cell that has been moved forward, creates the unique side view of the 5 m 21 long EQS. The roofline spans over the entire side of the car like an arch and creates, together with the short overhangs, a typical coupe look. There are also wheels up to 22 inches in size and a wheelbase of 3 meters 21 to support this. At the rear of the EQS, flowing shapes dominate and create a rather round impression. In contrast, a sharply drawn spoiler adorns the trunk lids. The interior of the LED taillights is shaped like a curved 3D helix. Together with a light band between the taillights, this creates a very unique look. The drag coefficient of the EQS of 0.20 is a record for serious vehicles and has been achieved through many optimizations. Not only is the cooler usually closed and the underbody is extremely flat. On top, all EQS featuring flush door handles as standards. To fulfill the expectations of Mercedes S-Class customers, for sure the EQS must deliver a perfect ride and a superb powertrain. And what that car delivers regarding to these two things, I'm going to have a short chat with a Mercedes expert now. So now I'm in the EQS, unfortunately on the passenger seat, but nevertheless, this will provide me with the first feeling of that car. Holger, when we talk about the EQS, we talk about an electric S-Class. But what have you done or what can you deliver regarding to driving performance with that battery electric vehicle? So in our project it was very important to have driving dynamics uh, like an S-Class also in this vehicle. So we decided for an uh, all-wheel drive configuration in this vehicle having 385 kilowatts installed, uh, 135 in the front axle and 255 in the rear axle and I, I guess uh, 4.3 seconds uh, 0 to 100 uh, talks a lot about this. What's really interesting is we're in the car and I've, of course I expected a very quiet, very smooth ride with an S-Class uh, when it's electric, but this car delivers even more. Can you tell me what you did? MVH Comfort was a very important goal uh, during the development of this car, of the EQS. Um, therefore, we decided for double decoupling of the motors, uh, each at the front and the uh, rear axle. Um, there's also insulation uh, of the motors with special NVH foams and also the auxiliaries like the uh, HVAC compressors. Uh, uh, the HVAC compressor is insulated in special foam and we use double insulated glass and also within the body in white, uh, in the volumes within the body in white, there's a special foam incorporated during the production process uh, that expands and uh, makes an, a lot of NVH comfort within the, the body in white itself. What's really interesting is to see how agile this car feels, even as I'm only sitting on the passenger seat, it still really feels very interesting, very nice, and I absolutely can't wait to drive this car myself to enjoy um, the electric S-Class but for now I have to say it's something very unique very special and I'm really looking forward to the next appointment with that car. One of the big eye catches at the interior of the new EQS is for sure the new so-called hyperscreen which is nothing different than a curved glass which covers three different displays. First of all, you do have a 12.3 inch fully digital cockpit. Then you find a 17.7 inch uh, touchscreen here 
OLED and you do find a 12.3 inch touchscreen for the passenger OLED technology as well. And this together gives you a screen which has a width of more than 140 centimeters. So that's really the thing you look at first. And of course you do find MBUX at the latest generation in the car as well, which not only means that you do have uh, a perfect voice control, you also have the opportunity to absolutely have the perfect sat nav for electric driving, like things like charging, how much you, uh, you have to pay, how much you have to charge and all this stuff will be calculated automatically. On top of this, that car really offers you loads and loads of space. You look at me, I'm nearly two meters tall. I sit perfectly at the front and we checked it already uh, with a colleague. He can sit behind me. He's one meter 80 easily. On top, you do find completely new materials. So the car comes as standard, completely animal free. But if you want, you can, of course, have leather. And if you want, you can have these new fabrics like here or like here, which really not only look good, they also touch absolutely nice. And because we're talking about EQ, we do, of course, find rosé gold. And what you have is a light band, which runs really from the side over the dashboard to the other side, really wraps around the driver and the co-driver and gives you so the absolute cozy feeling. And another eye catcher is really this center console here that really is hovering inside of the car from this armrest into the dashboard. And you do have loads of space here. This is typical Mercedes, so the split it armrest. But in front of it, you do find a big compartment with um, wireless charging, cup holders and all that stuff. And underneath, you have another big storage compartment with an extra band here to um, adjust things and you can easily put an iPad in there. And of course, you do find more than enough USB sockets to connect and to charge all your mobile devices. The battery is the core element of each battery electric vehicle. And now I'm talking to a Mercedes expert regarding to what the EQS can deliver when we talk about battery and charging. So looking at the suspension, um, we have, uh, we're, I mean, adapted to this vehicle, but we have 100% air suspension here in this vehicle coming from the from the S-Class modules. Um, we have a 100% rear axle steering uh, integrated in the vehicle with 4.5 degrees. You can actually increase uh, this angle to 10 degrees over the air. And with that, you are able to basically do a round circle in 10.9 meters, which is pretty, pretty cool for this size of car with a stance of three meters and 21. So. Um, that's 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 from a steering and and suspension perspective. Um, then looking at the at the um, at the engines here, we see a four x four. We have an, uh, on the rear axle a PSM engine of up to 255 kilowatts. On the front side, uh, up to 135 kilowatts. So we have an overall system power of 385 kilowatts. Um, and for the four x two, which would be then the engine on the rear. We are 245, we'll offer 245 in the beginning, both, as I said, PSM engines, um, making sure that we have power and, and efficiency in uh, balance. In the middle between these engines, what you see here is a um, battery uh, of the size uh, usable of 107.8 kilowatt hours. And then we go a little bit uh, smaller as well with, up, with 90 kilowatt hours usable approximately for the customer. Uh, with that, we are capable of driving with the 107.8 up to 770 kilometers in WLTP. Um, so it's a pretty, pretty good range. And the uh, consumption is around 16 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. Yeah, when, when I start maybe about charging, um, looking maybe at the classical 15 minute pit stop when you usually do. I mean, 15 minutes based on the WLTP um, consumption were approximately up to 300 kilometers um, and then uh, in 10 to 80 percent we are approximately 31 minutes. Um, the maximum power we have here is 200 kilowatts which we hold on a pretty um, high plateau so that we can basically achieve the 300 kilometers as mentioned before. Um, and then from a recuperation perspective we're going to have recuperation when I talk about recuperation power coming into the battery up uh, more than 250 kilowatts. That was it from the world premiere of the new Mercedes EQS. And when we talk about data and figures and when we talk about the look, that really is a new S-Class. But I have one more thing in the pocket, which is if you buy that car fully loaded, like this edition one here, you'll not only get this two-tone color trim, you can also have this lovely 
electric doors as well. And now I can't really wait to just jump into the car and drive it myself.